Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the function again, but this time we're going to use multiple parameters. I'm going here and I'm writing a new function. Sorry, not like that. Okay, func4. Now, I want to tell you a few things. While writing a function, you can do two, two things. Two methods are available. For example, you can write it like uh, new func4. Okay this is acceptable but there is one another way this is the new funk this is a camel style if you see in the camel style when you write something you make the first letter small and the second words first letter capital then if there is a third letter third word for example new function learn okay so the third words first letter again as capital as i written here l as capital so new func learn four this is a camel style so also if you have multiple words you can go with this style too this is another style just showing you a few ones and if you don't need so you can write in this way and also in this way but this is not a recommended way in programming we try to make the words the variable words the variable all characters as small because things can be case sensitive as you know so if you write f as capital and f as small somewhere so there would be a difference so you need to know whenever you're looking for a variable <coughs> you must know that how what's the style you use to make the variable for example i tell you that hey man use the new function new func three in your program i just made it so i show you the script so instead you need to look for the new function new func three you may know my style of writing so you would think that i write in a camel style so i must write in it new and f capital and three as normal you know or you may know that i write with the underscore same thing works with your self own if you made a function a month ago now your script is too lengthy and you need to make and you need to call that function so instead of looking that again you already know your style like you add the underscore or you make it camel style or anyway so you would directly write the call the function in that way so anyway the func4 and here taking two parameters for example person person1 comma person2 now I'm going here and fmt dot print ln and uh, hello plus here plus person one and plus person two save it okay now I need to mention the types of them so for this one it is necessary to mention the type in the functions because uh, it makes sure that for what person we're what purpose we're going to use these variables so here i'm adding in a space and i'm writing a string here because it's a type of a string and the next one again it's the string i'm saving it now i'm going here and okay i didn't call that yet i'm going here and i'm writing func for like that and i'm here first writing emily and here add a comma walton saving now going here and just reloading the script now hello emily and walton okay this is how you took two kind of values let's make it more interesting i'm going here writing func func5 and here calling a comma b now both are gonna be the integers for example if I'm writing both as the same, so make it shorthand, just write integer once. You can do the, the same thing here too, just delete that. For example, this should be the string and that should be the integer. So I have, I have to write them differently, but in this case, because both are the strings, we are sure about it. So we just simply can go here, add all the variables and add, a, add the data type like that I did here. And add a tab and here I'm writing fmt dot print ln parentheses and here I'm writing again okay now the method I'm gonna change here because they are the integers so we can do some programming with them too 
the mathematical values. I'm writing A plus B. Okay. Now, I'm going to go here. I'm going to guide you what I'm doing anyway. Func 5. And here I'm writing, oh, oh, because these are the integers, so I just cannot use the double or single codes. I'm writing 5, 8 and saving. Okay. Now, what I did here, I simply in the main function, oh, sorry, out of the main function, I call the a and b, both of them are integers. First, let's see the result, then we'll talk about that later. Okay, it's 13, 13, okay, fine now. Here, I have called the func 5, and I put two things, the 5 and 8. Okay, here, when I just call the func 5, so there are two values, system pick both of the values and system going down, there is a func 5a, and here is a comma b and integer and fmt now here integer there is a fmt dot print ln a plus b okay and uh, it, i'm saving it and what more i'm doing is now here receiving the a and b as integer so a is 5 and 8 is b ultimately you need to know the first value ultimately the first the first parameter the first value is five and the first parameter is ultimately the first value the comma and after the comma absolutely the after the comma value so we just picked a plus b we just picked a b and what we did with these values as we you know sim just simple variables so a we added the plus sign and the b it's not concatenating it's actually doing some now there we got the result the 13 in the same manner we can send another one like eight five five eight nine i'm adding a comma here nine oh sorry a b and c now here add another plus sign just showing you how it works you can add as much as parameters you need like a plus b plus c so i'm going here and i'm testing this up and now you're gonna see something interesting the 22 you can make it instead of the plus sign you can do like that saving it now i'm now i'm multiplying the value now 77 okay that's fine now for example this is the 9 i don't want this 9 to be the number i want it to be the something like the string i'm writing here melissa i hope i written the right spelling anyway whatever melissa i don't know <laughs> anyway here now because we have a different type so i'm writing here you know the type is not matching by now you know you can see that they cannot use the melissa type string as type integer in argument to func5 so here i'm making now this as integer this as integer and this has to be string because the third one is c and the third one is melissa but now here this cannot be performed like that i'm deleting that and uh, what i'm doing now cut that off and uh, here and i'm writing here d equals to the var d i'm here asking for now what's the problem you guys are having d declared and not used okay not used plus now here i'm writing c save it um what's the problem buddy okay that's another problem it is d and it is c so i think this is the issue we need to discuss because it's a detailed issue so by now i'm just making i'm just receiving both the values differently by now so i'm calling c here and if i just go here and you would see like 13th and melissa so we got three values but how we can put them together because it's not as simple as it looks to concatenate multi types of data together so it was not concatenating as you remember we've, we've got an issue so in the next lecture we're gonna talk about this in detail so we'll meet again